Hi, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I'm here uh, to talk about something that uh, we've been working on um, called Scene Sync. So, Scene Sync is a uh, synchronization tool for collaboration between other people in uh, in a group or a studio. So, uh, I'll talk a little bit about it real quick. Um, we wanted to work on one scene all together at the same time. So it's hard to make things happen uh, simultaneously at the same time, you know, I, they can see me moving stuff. So we didn't really go that route. We went a different route, um, which is much more lightweight and has, uh, would present a lot less problems. So uh, in essence, this is a way for multiple people to work on the same scene and uh, collaborate and get it done much faster. So without further ado, I'll give an explanation. Uh, by showing. So I'm going to start off by creating a few things in this scene. I'm going to create a cube. I'm going to set that cube to 20 by 0 0.2 by 20. Um, that's good. Now I'm going to create another cube. In fact, I'm going to call this one floor. And I'll call this one wall. And let's just uh, scale it up a little bit, make it a little fatter. Come up here. A little bit fatter, a little bit shorter. All right. And stick it over here, one right here, and one right here. It's good enough for me. Now I'm going to create a directional light. And I'm going to give that the soft shadows and very high quality. There we go. So we have this stuff in our scene. Let's make our camera see it a little better. Even though we're not really going to use it, I just want to show that I can modify a bunch of stuff about this, rotations and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. But I'm going to, I can save it normally, but the way I want to save it is to click this save scene for sync. When I click that, it's going to ask me to save my scene if I haven't already. I'm going to call this land and save it. So uh, now that we have that done, um, you can see that since I saved this uh, that way, like I didn't have it saved before, I need to double check this. So I'm going to hit save scene for sync. Uh, actually, I'm going to select all these guys. I want to say attach this object to this scene. Now, I only had to do that because I didn't have the scenes already saved, and when saving, it kind of breaks the process of attaching those scripts. You'll see what I mean in the next scene. So let's say I'm working on this, and then let's say that I have uh, my buddy Jordan working on another scene. Uh, so I'll hit New Scene, and in this scene, uh, I'm going to first save it. Under Scenes, I'm going to say Land uh, Cubes Jordan. There we go. So land cubes Jordan, and he's going to click on land, and he's going to say load all except objects attached to this scene. So when he does that, he gets that, and he can turn on the lights and see exactly how it was. Um, you can see I can delete this camera. I don't need it. That came when I created a scene, and here's the camera from the main scene. So now that I have this scene in here. I'm ready to start, or now that Jordan has this scene up, he's ready to start creating cubes. So let's, uh, you can see it keeps all the names as well. You, he can uh, start adding cubes. And this cube, uh, he's going to add a rigid body. I don't know, just something random in there. And he's going to create another cube, and he's going to stick it over here uh, like that. He's going to rotate a little bit. And this one, he's going to add, um, I don't know, it doesn't really need to add much, we'll just not add anything, it doesn't need to add anything, that's overkill. And I'm going to create one more cube, and I'm going to bring it up, and back a little bit, let's make it shadow cover this one a little bit, yeah that's cool. So there's my cubes, I'm going to say save scene for sync, bam, it gets the script and it says this object is now owned by Land Cubes Jordan. You can see that this is owned by uh, pff, nothing. Um, that's interesting. I'll check that out and make sure I get that fixed before I uh, submit. But I'm going to head and save. Um, I'm going to open up land and double check these. Uh, yeah, see? 
it's not owned by land. I don't think I saved my scene after I um, assigned it as land. All right. Sorry about that. I whenever you whenever you assign them, you also need to save them. So save scene for sync. It's saved now. Now they all have land. I can. Uh, anyways, we go back to Jordan. Um, I have this button delete all objects that are not owned by this scene. So I can do that and get rid of all those. So now I can reload them. Um, there we go. Now they say land.unity. There we go. So now they're owned by land. Um, and uh, Jordan is now done. He's going to save. And let's say at the same exact time that Jordan was working, uh, my friend Mike was also working on a scene of spheres. So let's say land underscore uh, spheres underscore Mike. So Mike is going to load up the base land. He's going to turn on his lighting. And he's going to start adding some spheres. He wants uh, some spheres in here. So he puts his spheres. He duplicates this one over here, this one over here. And he's going to add a rigid body to this one just because he wants to. All right. And then he saves his scene. And now he's going to click Save Scene for Sync. Now all these object, these spheres are owned by Mike. Uh, land underscore spheres underscore Mike. So now that uh, both Jordan and and uh, Mike have been working simultaneously at the same exact time, they saved their scenes. Let's just say they saved at the same exact time. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna go back into my scene and I'm gonna say, all right. Well, I'm gonna download their two scenes they created, land cubes and land spheres. They created that uh, and I got them from my SVN or whatever. And now I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna open up on both. So I'm gonna click on both of them. And remember that I imported this land and all this stuff in here. So I want to make sure I click load all except objects attached to this this scene. When I click on that, you'll see that the spheres and uh, oh, there is a camera in uh, Mike's thing. I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, all the spheres and the cubes are now here. I can save this out. I can now see uh, this is owned by Jordan, and this one's owned by Mike. So I have all of these in the scene. Um, I'm going to go ahead, go back to Mike and delete this camera. Save it out because I don't want that. All right, back in my land. Now I can hit play. And you can see the rigid bodies that were attached in both Mike and Jordan's scene are still working. So everything that they did is brought over into this main scene. And they, all, they both worked at the same exact time, got it done at the same exact time. And all I had to do is load it into my level, save it, and hit play. So I, I can literally have many, many, as many people as I want. I can have 20 people working on one scene on their, all their own parts. They can just take this base mesh, which is basically, I don't know, the floor or terrain, something that indicates uh, the size of your map or whatever. They can put all their stuff in. They can put in their lighting. In fact, I can show that. I'm going to go back to Cubes Jordan. I'm going to create a point light on the other end side of this so I can get some lighting over here. I'm going to create game object other uh, point light. I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to scale down its intensity. Put it right down here. All right. So now I'm going to save it. Save scene for sync. I'm going to go back into land. All right. And you can see I have all this stuff in, but that's okay. It can still it can be there. Uh, you you don't need to delete any of this. Just hit load all, and there you go. The light comes in from what they were doing. All these objects are here. None of them are duplicated. I can hit play, and we still have our rigid bodies attached. So this is the power of scene sync. Um, I hope you like it. Check it out on the asset store. Hopefully, it can help your studio and your group out. Hit throw me a uh, email, and I can give you maybe some deals or something on uh, depending on your studio size. Um, so let me know. I hope you like this. I'm gonna throw up some more tutorials later on how to uh, fix problems and how to use it in special ways. So this is a quick overview. I hope you enjoyed it. Check it out and let me know. Give me some feedback. All right, until next time, see you later.